Go Hawks! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Missed two. Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> you just say that too. It's only five. <laughs> It's so no who two I is. She thought he has no tour. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Ethan Callahan. I'm here outside Lumen Field. Seattle Seahawks just defeated the Miami Dolphins 24-3. to go 3-0 and on the early NFL season. You can find me online at Ethan Callahan TV on Instagram. You can find us at Fango Media, Fango Sports on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, anything, TikTok, whatever you want to find us on, we're there. All right, so Seattle just got done thrashing. All right, you know what? Can I talk? Yeah, go for it. Okay, everybody says the Miami Dolphins are all the Dolphins, right? Okay, sorry about Tua, you know what? If two wasn't in the house, maybe a different story. But he wasn't in the house. Metcalf, Gino in the town. Who's gonna beat those guys? Three Good and day, man. Three and oh, three and oh. I'll take it. Who's next week? Bring on the opponent. Bring on the opponent. Into San Francisco. Let's go! Let's go. Oh, here you go. Let's go. Doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter who it is. To the or any any team, we're gonna do push our cape, everybody. Who's your number one player for the Seahawks? Who outshone, outperformed everybody else on the field today? I'd say underrated Rayshon Jenkins. You know, he's seen him perform game through game, just stepping up big when it really counts. Uh, you really don't know where this offense is at coming through. That third quarter was rough. Yes, it was. You, you don't like seeing that, but, you know, Stone Feet Forsyth out there, it's kind of tough from the right side. I'm thinking we've got a great chance at Detroit. I mean, they're a fantastic team. I didn't see, did they end up winning today? I don't think it's over yet. I think they had a few minutes left, but I think they're going to win. Yep. I mean, always a hard-fought battle. It's a great team to go back and forth. Even if we end up short, we'll see them in the playoffs. Absolutely. Some Green Bay fans in Seattle today. You guys had a big win earlier today. What do you think of the atmosphere inside Lumen Field? It's going to be crazy when Jordan Loves comes here in December and whoops. Jordan Loves going to whoops in December. Mm -hmm. He's going to show them why he's the best quarterback and why he's the MVP. Ready for playoffs. Already. That's, that's the only three games. We're the best team in the NFL. That's all I can say. All right, you heard it here outside of a Seattle Seahawks versus Miami Dolphins game. Green Bay Packers are somehow the best team in the NFL after that. So my first time in Lumen Field, dope field, dope field. Yes, it's, it's, it gets loud, doesn't it? It does, it does. It was an easy win today. Easy win. Seattle fan, I assume, right? Hell no. Nah. Oh, huge sport? No, nah, just a football fan. Just a football fan. Yeah. Oh, so you just traveling? Just traveling, yeah. Who's your team? I really don't have a team. I have multiple players. I play fantasy football, so I go for multiple players. I got you. So this is the man I beat today right here. That's a loser's face right there. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go to 6-0 at least. 6-0, and yeah. We got the Giants next. We got the 49ers either the next week after that. Yep. Big win. All right, so they're going to keep rolling here. Who is the number one performer for you today? DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf, easy answer, right? What was that, 70, 80-yard touchdown? 71-yard touchdown 71? catch in the first half for DK Metcalf. Unbelievable. We are winning the Super Bowl right hey! now. Oh. McDonald. We're yeah. winning it. Who uh, who outshined everybody else for you on Seattle? Offense or defense? Offense, baby. Yeah, yeah man. Great. Gino so far having a good start of the year. Great. Hey, but with Walker out, run game is solid. Yeah. Charbonnet, it. Marvin Gaye, Charbonnet. Yeah. Right? Killed it. Loved yeah, it. For sure. And I got him on fantasy. Great job. You got the big Waltz shirt on here. Yep. Some yeah, show the back of that here. So we're having some struggles on the lines, offense and defense. What do you think Seattle needs to do to improve on that? I, I, I think we're solid. I think we got our game plan. I love coach. I think it's a good vibe, good energy, three wins. We're solid. Love it. How long is the streak going to go? So I think that we're going to have a little bit of Detroit's a solid team. That's going to be the hardship, but hopefully uh, 49ers think we got them game five or six. Yeah, I got them right after Detroit. Yep, let's go. How right. far do you think Seattle goes in the playoffs? Come on, Come on baby. All the way? Super Bowl. Seattle game. all the way. Let's go. Let's say, who's your standout defender for Seattle so far? I don't know. That's tough to say. Dude. What do you got, man? What are you thinking on that? Witherspoon, you're my boy. I'm really? so proud of you. I love watching you play. You're a legend. I know. I'll second that. I'll second Dude, that. Witherspoon's the boy. Wow. I don't see an end in sight. I think we're going all the way to the playoffs. Perfect score. And then I think we're going to take they it. They might give up one just to keep everyone guessing, but that's going to be yeah. intentional because they're taking it all the way to the bowl, dude. The big bowl. Come on now. Tough day at the office for guys from Miami. No Tua today. How much of a difference do you think Tua makes in this game? 
Tua makes a difference offensively with his accuracy, but to be honest with you, Miami's defense, they did not show up today. And if you really want to be a contender in the AFC, you need a defense that comes to comes to work and makes some turnovers. They need to play a more up-tempo style, more pressure. Um, the secondary needs to get it together. We paid Jalen Ramsey a lot of money, and he needs to come in here. And lifeguard lose in Seattle, and I'm here supporting our fins. Go Seahawks and go Dolphins. Seahawks are amazing, and we are terrible. We flew all the way from Miami to watch a disaster game. They're not getting anybody prepared. We had nine days to get prepared, and the offense did not look at the least bit prepared. Whatever they need to do, they need to get better because we look terrible. We look unprepared. Our quarterback, um, Skylar Thompson, nine days to prepare, and the number three quarterback looked better than Skylar did. So Skylar needs to go. Tim Boyle did look, did improve the offense a little bit. Still not enough in the end. We won't. Can do it. I'm in so much pain right now. I can't even describe it. Did you it fly hurts. all the way up from Miami? From Wisconsin. Oh, from Wisconsin. Yeah, and it hurts that much more. My day is ruined. My week is ruined. I'll never get over this. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it to this far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Seattle returns to action next week, week four, Monday Night Football, away at Detroit Lions at Ford Field. Next time we'll be back here is the week following that week five. Seahawks take on the New York Giants. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.